tail of the tape for this, our co-headliner of the evening. Cruz is 31, Faber is 37. Cruz is two inches taller. Cruz will have a slight reach advantage. Once again, here is the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner of Nick Martial Artist, holding a professional record, 33 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 134 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, presenting the former WEC featherweight champion and the number two ranked bantamweight contender in the world. Presenting the challenger, the California Kid, Uriah Faber. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, a boxer and a wrestler, holding a professional record, 21 wins, one loss. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, presenting the former WEC bantamweight champion and the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Dominic, the Dominator, Cruz. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna have a clean fight. You can trust the gloves now if you wish. Let's go. Dominic Cruz, Uriah Faber. Fight scheduled for five, five minute rounds. The undisputed UFC bantamweight title on the line. Let's fight. Here we go. The champion in the black trunks, the challenger in the white trunks. Keep an eye on Dominic Cruz's left foot. That is the foot that he's got taped up and wrapped up, and that is the foot that he had plantar fasciitis. I believe that's how you say it, the foot injury that he had in the TJ Dillashaw fight. And we were mistaking to, to we were thinking it was punishment from his leg kick that was causing him to limp. But apparently it was a pre-existing injury. Right away to the ground. Right away, Uriah looking for that patented guillotine. Two butterflies by Uriah. Using the butterfly guard. He's gonna try to elevate Dominic to try to get up out of this. And Dominic clasping his hands together behind Uriah's back to try to prevent that and maintain a stable base. Both men so well-rounded, so experienced, so talented. And that's why we have him fighting again tonight for a belt. And Dominic stepped over one side to set up a step over on the other side. He's very, very tricky in that way, but he's got to look out for his arm, and Uriah spins him around. They battle right here in front of us, Joe. Dom Dom leaning on him. Yeah, Dominic holding on to him here. So far getting the better of the scrambles. Looks like Uriah's pants are falling down. I don't know if Herb Dean has recognized it, but you're... Is that what's going on? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's, that could be an issue. Down they go. His pants are barely hanging on, and he's holding on to the neck. That could restrict his movement, Mike, and keep his hips from separating. There you go. Herb sees it. There he goes. Yeah, okay. Two minutes in. Two of a potential 25 minutes. Uriah doesn't mind what happened there. He doesn't mind staying close and tying up and working clinch with Dominic Cruz. And he pushes nice forward the body right by there. Dominic, but a takedown attempt here by Uriah. 
You nullify the great footwork when you do this. Oh, but look at the scramble. Dominic on top in the scramble. Uriah trying to muscle his way back up to his feet, grabbing a hold of the ankle. See if he can utilize that. He does. Very nicely done by Uriah. And a big punch from and Faber. And that's where those ankle wraps actually become a detriment to Dominic Cruz because it gives Uriah more friction to grab a hold of him. Uriah looking for the choke. One, two. The only two, time two. Cruz's loss was by that guillotine choke. The trademark finish of Uriah Faber. Justin Buckholtz and company. Fourth UFC title fight for Faber. Fought Cruz, Burrell twice, and now Cruz again tonight. Here in the fabulous forum, built in 1967. Uriah just went mad dog on him, charged at him. Blood under the left eye of the champion. Tonight, the 25th time Faber has fought under the Zufa banner, WEC, UFC combined. Faber fighting a very cautious fight, staying on the outside, looking for these openings. And Tony Dominic away. tries to grab a hold of that single, but no success. Very even round one. Faber throwing a lot more feints than usual. There's a good jab by Dominic. You're Look right. at that one head oh. movement. Got caught on that last one. He caught him with that left hook. Yep. Danny Castillo, Justin Buckholtz in the corner of their longtime teammate, the leader, Uriah Faber. Final 15 seconds of the first. What an odd style Dominic Cruz has. It's crazy, isn't it? And, and we thought TJ Dillashaw kind of had it down, and then he fought Dom, and we realized Dom has it down. It's, it's different. You know, their, their styles are very different. They're similar in the way that they switch stances, but Dom's approach is just so unique. Good breath. Good breath. Good breath. Straight punches. Okay. Wrestling, wrestling's great. Grappling's great. You got his best look. Don't get stuck too much on that on that fence, wasting energy. That makes sense? Hey. We're going to have to put together three to four punches. One, two. Hey. The more we can get our hands on him and grab him, the better. Faber, if he, even if he takes you down, we want him there. That grappling yeah. you on every exchange. Yeah. So we can kick the leg. We can touch with that jab. Cut him off. He's been working footwork his whole camp. He's not working grappling. When you get up from the grappling stand, just push him. Here's a big takedown here by Uriah Faber. But in the scramble, look, Dominic wound up on top, which is very unusual. And there's a nice jab by Cruz. And here's where he got caught with that left hook. Dominic stepped in and caught him with a short left hook. That's great. Some big deep breaths in the corner of Dominic Cruz. Faber trying to impose his will, lean on him. Test the cardio of the Dominator. Doesn't seem to be anything wrong with Dominic's movement. Nope. Despite that foot being taped up, he looks like prime time Dominic Cruz. 33 career wins for Uriah Faber. Second longest reigning champion in WEC history. I mean, really, how do you prepare for this? How does one prepare for a guy who moves? Oh! oh! Big left hand! Cruz rocked him, can he finish him? He stunned him with that left. Uriah still My has shaky legs. Uriah on the retreat. Cruz not overreacting. Wow. He just barely missed that head kick. Big oh. punch again. Tagged him again. Dom's walking him down now. Yep. 
But he's not getting reckless, Joe. Nice leg kick. Now the knee. It's a fine line between getting reckless and allowing your opponent to recover, isn't it? And let's see if Uriah can. I don't know who they like here. <laughs> Both California dudes. Yeah, there's definitely competing cheering going on. Another strong leg kick by Dominic. Uriah looks like he's got his legs back under him now, though. A big, big left that connected. Well, Uriah's a real veteran. I mean, this is not a new thing for him to be hurt in a fight and no. come back from it. Absolutely not. So he did the right thing, moved around. Another hard leg kick. Dominic Cruz is landing several of those punishing leg kicks to that left leg of Uriah. Uriah's been kicked a few times over the years. He certainly has. <laughs> I was just going to bring that up. Yeah. The Jose Aldo fight was we one of the that most one. horrific yeah. leg kick attacks we've ever watched. Midway point of round two. Cruz starting to pick it up. Nice jab by Cruz. Momentum in the favor of the champion after that big left hand. Just Dominic is so hard to pattern. It's so hard when you're watching him to have any idea what he might be doing next. Just gives you such weird looks. And Dominic talks about that a lot, Joey. He says he fights against himself. He doesn't fight against opponents. He tries to improve this unorthodox, just seldom utilized attack by anybody else in the world and just get better and better every time. But it's and, also, and he does. His anticipation of his opponent's yes. movements are also exceptional. Like and he right breaks there. it down like a science. Yeah. He really does. In the corner of Cruz. Eric Del Fierro. Get moving. Uriah just missed. Now what? Uriah looking for the right hand. Under a minute now here in round two. Cruz has landed the biggest shots. Grappling and clinch game in this round. Cruz working very well from distance. Oh, he tagged him with that left hand. And Ryan with the right hand over the top. 15. When Uriah's moving around like this, Mike, it makes him, him much more difficult to hit, too. Switching stances a bit, bouncing around on the outside. Let's take a look at that left hand from Dominic Cruz. Bam. Just on the button. Now look at this, though. Boom. Runs right into that up kick. Deep breath. Hey. Doing good, man. See the see the punches? After that first shot, let's step with some shots on him. Okay. Cut him off. Let's go forward in this round. Let's go forward in this round. Tiger style. Yeah. Chin down. Shoulders up. He's swinging it. I need you to split his cross. He's throwing crosses all day. You're splitting him perfectly. Okay. See, see that cross coming? Split that cross. Defend the leg. If he... Co-headliner continues. Cruz in the dark. 
Faber in the white trunks. Third round. Both of these men have fought many, many five-round fights, and they have gone the distance many times. Faber has not won a fight in the UFC that has gone the five rounds. Another leg kick by Dom. And Faber tries to adjust this crazy movement. And one of the interesting things that Dominic Cruz has said about his time outside the octagon is that although he wasn't competing, he was still training and getting better. And he had to remind himself that it wasn't that his progress had stopped. It was just a different path. Oh, he just tagged Uriah with a right hand there. And he's a better fighter now than he was the second time they fought. At one point with all the injuries for Dom, he fought only three times, Joe, in basically four and a half years. Frustrated injuries, the knee goes and it goes again. And now he's back, he's trying to make up for lost oh, time. He stunned him again. 31 years old. Trying to finish his arch rival. Here in our co-headliner from the forum. Like, he's in, he's out, he's there, he's gone. Such a difficult guy to try to hit. Uriah just doesn't know when to pull the trigger. And that is 100% due to Dom's unorthodox attack. He's there, he's not there. Anything, he's there and he's gone again. Master Tong's kind of trying to wave to Faber. Come forward, come forward, you got to dictate. And he gets hit again. Uriah's got to be the aggressor. Combination by Cruz. It's crazy because he, he's walking Uriah down, but then he's not. So when right, Uriah right. looks to counter, he's nowhere near him. But he's, he puts the same kind of pressure on you that a guy who's constantly walking you down puts on you, but just doesn't give you the opportunities to return fire. Right. Two minutes separate us from the championship rounds. Beautiful inside leg kick there. He goes up high. Uriah has got to attack the legs. He's got to do something. When they're in close. Caught him with that left on the exit. Hey, one, two, pull two. Go Miguel's, one, two, pull two. See if he throws that, one, two, pull two. Keep going, keep moving. It also seems that now that Uriah's been stung a couple of times, he's much more reluctant to exchange with Cruz. Absolutely. He realizes there are consequences, and that was sort of the premise that he had coming into this fight, was that he didn't have any consequences. That Cruz can't finish him, but he can finish Cruz. He knows now that Cruz is very dangerous. And, and it's just been a stand-up war in rounds two and three, Joe, as opposed to round one where we saw a little bit of everything. That big left hand in round two has changed the whole complexion of this fight. It certainly did. I know what Uriah's corner's thinking. They're thinking, you got to pull the trigger. 15. Beautiful speed in that takedown attempt by Dominic Cruz. But Uriah slides away from it nicely. Final seconds of the third.
too. You feel that? You got to speed yeah, up. Hey, every time he throws anything, I need you to answer with three. Just like dot dot dot. Come right back. We need to get the output up more. After those three shots, fit in, man. Get your hands on him. Get your hands on him again. Push him against the fence. Let's go forward a little bit. Hey, footwork's great. Let's go out there this round. Show footwork. He throws one shot. I need to answer with three. Okay. I need to answer with three, Faber. Three. Touch, touch, touch. Hey. Championship rounds. Let's fight. Tonight, the 15th time Uriah Faber has been scheduled for five rounds. He is seven and seven. He has gone the distance six times. The 25 minute distance, he is one and five. And he's in a very desperate position here, Mike. He's been hurt, he's been outpointed and outclassed. He still carries power and awesome submission ability, but he is yet to be able to mount any really effective offense against Dominic Cruz so far. Joe, tonight the eighth five-round fight for Dominic Cruz. He has gone the distance six times. He is 6-0. and oh. to the fourth. The fourth shot at UFC gold for Uriah Faber. You know in his mind he wants to leave it all in the octagon. He does not want to exit at the end of 25 minutes saying I should have pulled the trigger more. Well, it's it's not really that he should have. It's just he just can't. Yeah. Dominic's not there. There's no sense in pulling the trigger when no one's there to hit. And that's what the world was saying, Joe. Yeah. How can it be different? Not with Uriah, with anybody against Cruz. How can it be different? Mighty Mouse. Right. That's how it could be different. Yep. And Mighty Mouse lost to Dominic Cruz at 135. Was well, the second title defense for Cruz of this belt. But I think we're looking at a different Mighty Mouse now. And I would love to see a rematch between him and TJ Dillashaw. Should TJ Dillashaw get past the Sun Sour? Yeah. That's an excellent fight as well. The first fight with him and TJ was extremely close. Did and a Q&A with Demetrius the other day, Joe, and he, he kind of said, ah, I don't need to fight Cruz again. <laughs> I think he would love to do that. Well, but right it's a now super we got fight. this. Yeah. It's a real super fight because what Dominic Cruz is doing is putting on a show tonight. Yeah. And I, it, I, as I said, I think he's better in this fight than his last fight. He says that Octagon Rust isn't real. Uh, it is. He's just so good that he was able to beat TJ even with the rust. But you're seeing a better Dominic Cruz tonight. Slicker, more consistent. It's almost, it's difficult to do commentary on his fights because I'm seeing all these unusual patterns and I just kind of want to watch and try to see if I can figure out what he's doing. It was 1,092 days between Johnson and Mitsugaki. 477 days between Mitsugaki and Dillashaw. Oh, he hurt him. And again, he hurts him. Looking for the finish right here. A normal period between his victory back in January against Dillashaw and tonight's fight here on June 4th. Dominic just shook his hand. And I don't know if he heard it, but he unloaded some really hard shots that many might have hit Uriah Faber in the head. And Dominic has had some serious hand issues in the past and multiple surgeries to fix broken hands. So keep an eye, particularly on his right hand, because he hasn't thrown it since then. He just threw it right there, did not connect. But by the way, he will keep throwing it, yes. even if it's broken. Yep. Uriah, years ago, the broken hand just started unloading elbows. Man, the corner of Faber is just trying to urge him continuously to be the aggressor. Like you said, it's difficult to do, obviously, Joe, against Dominic, but man, they're trying to urge him to do so. He threw a right hand there. So it might be a false alarm. 
or he might be hitting him with a broken hand. Which wouldn't be all that surprising. The adrenaline rushing at such a high level inside the octagon of these two great fighters. Just over 30 left in the fourth. Good right hand. Yep. By Faber. Ten. Deep breath, sit down. Hey, man. Oh. Deep breath. You want him out of there? Calm right. down. Right. Calm down. Right. You're trying too hard. Right. When you're sharp, you rock him every time. Right. Sharp rocks him every time. You overcommit, he's still in the fight. Right. Stay sharp. You cannot class him. Everything's tight, quick faint. Your jab is out. Him. Stay fast on the jab. Yes, no pawing. Yes, one, two, one, two, one, four. Yes. Switch stepped over there too. When he comes in hard, we need to change levels and grab his ass. Come with the uppercut if we don't get him down. Right? Let's push it, baby. Let's dig deep. Hey. Let's dig deep. Hey, he's going to try to dance this round, Faber. I need to go Tiger style. Cut Look him off. In. You lost now. Only you knock out. Knock out. I don't care. You fall out, OK? Go to the wall. You lose knock out, OK? Hey, you he's going to dance. He's going to dance. You cut him off. Bring the fight to him, Faber. Five we minutes. Behind the block. Behind the block. A lot of anxiety in the corner of Uriah Faber. Absolutely. That's what I've been alluding to, Joe, when right. we've been watching him out of the corner of our eye. Master Tong saying, dude, you got to bring it. This is it. Five minutes. If this is your destiny to leave as a UFC champion tonight, much like Michael Bisbing said it will be his in our next battle, you got to do it now and you got to finish it. Clearly behind on the scorecards. Beautiful combination by Dominic Cruz. Cruz looking for a finish here. Kick. Not dancing there. Punching and kicking. Uriah with the right hand. Yep. He's got to jump on that after he connects, doesn't he, partner? Well, I would say that's probably a good idea, but <laughs> it's not like Dominic was there to be hit. Yep, exactly. And he doesn't want to get countered either. Raya landed a right hand and Dominic Cruz came back. The two excellent shots. There's a nice jab. Cruz just over three minutes away from winning part three of this trilogy. There's the right hand once again for Uriah, but now Dominic's got his back. See if Dom tries to get the finish. He's trying to get the hooks, but yep. Uriah's been defending him so far. Wants to get those legs over the top of Uriah's legs.
Final two minutes of this championship fight. And another kick and another punch. He went for the kick on the break, landed on the forearms. And Uriah Faber clearly in desperado mode. Just a minute and 40 seconds to go. Good uppercut on the break by Cruz. Superman punch, and, and it's Cruz with a takedown. Nice, beautiful step over into side control. Cruz wants the finish, Joe. And you ride with an excellent scramble. Tries to bring it back to half guard. He gets half guard. Cruz still on him. His pants are falling down again. Now real bad. One minute, now less. Herb Dean had a good look at the pants. I mean, we need to fix those pants, son. <laughs> we almost got a free show. Thirty seconds. I mean, what can Uriah Faber do at this point? other than just go kamikaze and risk getting knocked out. The result would be the same as it's going to be on the scorecards. They're going to go the distance. That was difficult for them to do. It's difficult for them to half hug. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and after five rounds of war, it was reluctant on Cruz's part. <laughs> He's probably thinking, you know what? I might fight this dude again. <laughs> he can't be making friends. This was a clinic on unorthodox movement, unpredictable attacks, footwork. And there was a good up kick there by Uriah, one of the best moments of the fight for him. And these weird combinations by Dominic Cruz. Good luck preparing for those. And there's another left hand that hurt Faber, had him in trouble, and this is where Dominic really unloaded. But as Eric Del Fiero said, he got crazy and loose and wasn't sharp, and that's probably why he was unable to complete any of those combinations to take Uriah out. But Uriah is as tough as they come. We knew that coming into this fight. It was affirmed tonight, but man, did Dominic Cruz put on a performance. Time for our official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 50-45, and 49-46 for the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Dominic the Dominator Cruz. I'm here with the winner and still champion, Dominic Cruz. Dom, a really masterful performance tonight. One of the best of your career. You, you came into the octagon with that same injured foot wrapped up. Was it okay and did it bother you at all during the fight? It bothered me more in camp, but oh, no excuses, man. None, zero, nothing, I'm here. There were several times in the fight where you managed to hurt Uriah, you had him in trouble. Were you surprised he was able to weather those storms? Yeah, he stayed tough, but I'm not surprised. Uh, he's been a champion before, and with that, with being a champion comes toughness. Everybody in this octagon is tough, so I'm ready for five rounds every time. Now you had a massive layoff before your last fight, and you said that octagon rust is not real, that it's just mental weakness. But you looked even better tonight. What do you attribute that to? Well, my last fight, I was not 100%. I was coming off the couch after a year layoff. Most people don't even do that without hearing something. So I did a three-year layoff, so when I was a year off, everybody said, oh, it's nothing, but it is all in your head. 
Ring rust is not real. Anybody that lives out there, anybody that fights, don't listen to anybody. It's all in your head. Just do it. Was there anything surprising about this fight for you tonight? Nothing surprising. Uh, I'm just glad I'm here. You know, I, I feel so good to be able to compete again. I thought I lost this at one point, man. And um, I had to stay and ha keep the faith in my abilities and my instincts every single time, especially facing a guy who's as confident as Faber is all the time. You have to believe in yourself. No matter what anybody said, I just stuck with it and had my coaches and my team behind me, and that's all I needed and got to. Well, those abilities are, in my opinion, even better than ever, and it was an honor watching this fight and calling it tonight. And thank you very much. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, everybody. Monster, you stuck with me through every single injury. Monster Energy Drink stayed with me and sponsored me through all my stuff. Thank you guys so much. I love you. Dominic Cruz, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm with Uriah Faber. Uriah, you, you remain one of the toughest guys in this division, and I know there was so much bad blood coming into this fight. How bitter a pill is this to swallow? You know, uh, first off, props to Cruz. What an amazing fight he had. Caught me in the second, and, uh, you know, testament, he's got a little power. He's a, he's a heavy hitter. Not as heavy as my boy Cody No Love, but uh, he's, he's, got some, uh, he's got some real talent. He, he had a perfect fight, and... Uh, so I can't say anything. He bested me tonight. What was the game plan going in here, and what, if anything, surprised you? Um, you know, the game plan was to keep the pressure. The surprise was he caught me with some good punches early on and uh, kind of shook me up and then continued the pressure. So uh, I didn't expect him to come out wrestling in the first round. That was a little bit of a surprise. But, you know, Dominic's a, a wild fighter. He does a lot of different things, and um, it is what it is. So you know, this has been an incredible journey for me. It's been 13 years. Uh, fighting from the very beginning of this thing. To be here in California with all these fans is amazing. I love you guys so much. Say hi to my poor mom at home. <laughs> love you. Now, when you're saying this about your journey, are you saying this because you're thinking about ending this journey? Uh, you know, I, I, I can't really say that right now, but I, I will say that uh, I'm going to have to give it some thought. This has been, again, a, a passion for me about being on the top. Tonight I was not on the top, so I have to think about that and uh, enjoy, enjoy my time off and come back with uh, what I'm gonna do next. But until then, keep your eye out for my guys. Like I said, Cody No Love, you guys saw him tonight. The guy's ready for a strap, I know that. Uh, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of things to be seen in the future, but right now I'm gonna relax and uh, put some ice on it. Well, thank you for an amazing career. Thank you for a great fight tonight, and always an honor to call your fights. Yeah, congrats again to Cruz. Uh, what a performance. Uriah Faber, ladies and gentlemen. He is the California kid, one of the greatest of all time, Uriah Faber. I'm very humble, very honest in 